Hey guys, what's up? It's Riley, and today's video is all about the update of my referral and my first appointment, which I've already had. So I'll give you the download on that one. So recently, on the 23rd of September, I was invited to the welcome workshop at the Northampton Gender Club, which is situated in Daventry. Workshop, I was given my first appointment letter which was two days later. So yeah, I, it was very speedy for my first appointment. So I had that on the 25th of September and that went very, very well. I have now got my notes from that one and I've been diagnosed with transsexualism. You have to be diagnosed with transsexualism and gender dysphoria to start hormones, I believe. Um, I don't know if I'll get diagnosed, diagnosed with gender dysphoria um, at my second assessment with the doctor, but you have to have two different doctors sign you off and diagnose you with the same thing. They ask you the same questions and just to get a, a history of like you in general, and then you have a physical examination in between that i've got to get my blood test done so i've got a load of blood work i have to get done then a physical examination bear with me a second i have so much paperwork it's kind of ridiculous and you can tell it's all from the gender clinic because it's all on this weird like paper so where is it my physical examination consent form so basically you get given a consent form to have this physical examination and what they include what the examination includes is body mass index calculation so your bmi your circuit circulatory and respiratory checks eye examinations central nervous system checks reflexes sensations and muscles check this checking the skin abnormal organs check I don't know what that means checking for hernias then also underlined it says genital examination depending on individual need don't know why they would want to check my genitals but okay so there are all the things that they'll check you on on the examination so they're all behind screens no invasive procedures and you'll have a person with you as well so there won't just be you and a doctor it'll be someone else with them as well so you feel a bit more comfortable so i've got that to come up i haven't got my appointment for that one just yet but it's all rolling into motion. I'm very, very happy. It's finally happening, guys. For so long, I've been waiting on the waiting list. And now I'm at the top of the waiting list and I've had my first appointment. Now I've just got to see how everything goes. But according to my um, my doctor that I went and saw on the first, first appointment, she said it should be six weeks time the, at the latest six weeks for my next appointment and then after the examination there's another appointment which will be six weeks after that appointment at the most which I'm looking at about three months in general so before Christmas time hopefully I'll be on tea I'll be prescribed hormones but that's uh, <laughs> that's if everything goes so well if not then maybe next year. Well, it will be next year, if anything.